Can you do it again? Please join hands. Adrian and Crystal, in a few short moments, you will exchange vows of marriage each to the other. And I would like to remind you both that although vows are spoken in a matter of minutes, they are promises that last a lifetime. To this day, each of you brings your love for one another as a treasure to share. As you know, someone who loves us gives us a piece of themselves only they can give. Loving someone is reason to reach beyond our limits, to become more for the sake of the other. It is to look into the soul of your beloved and accept what you see. The key to love is understanding, the ability to comprehend not only the spoken words, but the unspoken gestures, the little things that mean so much. The key to love is forgiveness, to accept each other's faults and pardon mistakes without forgetting, but remembering what you've learned from them. The key to love is sharing, facing your good fortunes as well as bad, together, forever, searching for ways to intensify your happiness. The key to love is respect, realizing you're two separate people with different ideas, but that you belong together and share a mutual bond. Adrian, do you take Crystal to be your loving wife, forsaking all others, as long as you both shall live? I do. And Crystal, do you take Adrian to be your loving husband, forsaking all others, as long as you both shall live? I do. And Adrian, sir, I'm gonna hand this to you and I ask that you please read them to Crystal. Crystal, as I stand here before you, I look at you and see the rest of my life in front of my eyes. We are blessed beyond measure on this day as we stand here together. God has given us a second chance at happiness and I praise him for that. I promise to be faithful to you, honor you, cherish you, respect you, trust you, laugh with you, cry with you, and love you unconditionally through good times and bad times, regardless of the obstacles we may face together. There is still a part of me today that cannot believe that I'm the one who gets to marry you. You are my soulmate and one true love, and I'm very blessed and honored to stand here today by your side as your husband. We waited eight long years to make this journey together. Let's not wait any longer. It's our time now. Thank you, sir. And Crystal, if you would please your readers to Adrian. Eight years ago, I would have never imagined I would be standing here, staring in the eyes of my soulmate, starting our forever together. I thank God for giving us a second chance of happiness. Because of you, I laugh, I smile, and I dream again. From the beginning, I have never doubted that you have and will continue to make me a better woman, partner, and mother. You believe in me, you support me, and you accept me. 
You've opened my heart to unconditional love and reaffirmed that we are truly bonded by our unbreakable faith to each other. So today, I promise to be faithful to you, honor you, and cherish you. I also want to make a promise that as long as I am alive, you will never be alone, you will never question if you are handsome enough, you will never doubt that you are worthy, and you will never wonder if you are loved. You are my savior, my soulmate, and my bestie. I take you now and forever, and I'm so proud to call you my husband. And I'll take this back from you, Crystal. And Adrian, sir, I'm gonna hand this ring to you. And as you place that ring on Crystal's left ring finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and as, faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I commit my heart and soul to you. I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring. As a reminder of the vows we have spoken today. As a reminder of the vows we have spoken today. This ring is a token of my love. This ring is a token of my love. I marry you with this. I marry you with this. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. And Crystal, I'm gonna hand this to you. And as you place that ring on Adrian's left ring finger, please repeat after me. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a seal upon the vows I've just spoken as a seal upon the vows I have just spoken. And as you wear it. And as you wear it. May it be a reminder of how much I love you. May it be a reminder of how much I love you. Not only on this precious day. Not only on this precious, precious day. But every single day of your life. But every single day of your life. And now, Crystal, I want you to hold Adrian's hands palms up on top of yours, just like that. These are the hands of your best friend, strong and vibrant with love, that are holding yours on your wedding day as he promises to love you all the days of his life. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future, as you laugh and cry, as you share your innermost secrets and dreams. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. Now, Adrian, please hold Crystal's hands, palms up, where you may see the gift they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend, smooth and carefree, that are holding yours on your wedding day as she pledges her love and commitment to you all the days of her life. These are the hands that will bring a tender touch after you've both had a long, hard day. These are the hands that will hold you in joy and excitement through the happy times and hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. These are the hands that will give you support as she encourages you to chase your dreams. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. Adrian and Crystal, remember to treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourselves of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to the tenderness and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustration and difficulty or fear assail your relationship, as it does in all relationships, at one time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you, not only the part that seems wrong. Inasmuch as the two of you have consented to be lawfully married and have sealed that promise with the giving and receiving of rings each to the other, by the virtue of the power vested in me, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Adrian, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Adrian Kale. <laughs> Thank and to you. finalize the ceremony, the two of you will jump the broom together as a married couple. All right, on count. the count of three, guys. One, two, three. <laughs> awesome. awesome.